M0FXP, massive thanks to Tony for the password, Radto880, firmware, and CPS. Well, let's just do the firmware. The cable is connected at the moment. You have to turn the radio off, turn on, and the password, which will be in the description. Make sure you press the top PTT. I've noticed you have to remember that. Top PTT, turn on, we're in firmware mode. And once you get the firmware, the password is actually, I'll put it in, it's firmware is 25 or 2588, then 0417, and then you get this window. And we can now, there is a, I have made a video on the changes earlier, so let's show you that. Uh, so there was a lot of changes with the 1.05 Radtel, and thank you Radtel, appreciate it. Um, massive, the main one was that you could hear the band scope when it was on, you could hear the stations, and you can now mix and match, you could have CB on the A band, 77s on the B band, where before you had to, you know, you had to select the work range. But with this one, the main one they're adding here is it's added a menu option to reverse the switching direction when enabled with the up and down arrows, added option to display CTCSS, added support for jumping to menu items via the keypad, which I would say is one of the big ones. Can you go menu, then you press one of the keypad buttons, it's going to be a lot quicker in your menus. And uh, so I wouldn't say massive, they've, been, they've tweaked the APRS, but obviously we haven't got the APRS model, uh, not yet anyway. So let's just double run, you know, double click, we'll run the software. I know it works because my friend uh, Shug, who's also been helping here, has uh, just already tested this already, so thank you very much. Uh, it's always nice to know the radio won't get bricked. So cable connected, right click device manager for your port. Uh, right click device manager. And uh, I actually made the cable I'm using. Uh, so it's a CH340 to USB-C cable. So scroll down ports here, double click. And then COM11, so like so, COM11, and then all connected, firmware mode, click update. And if you get communication error, just keep trying. Okay, it's going in. Quick reboot. Everything looks fine. Let's have a closer look at the radio. Looking very nice as usual. So when you go into basic settings, go down to, is it 34, select, and you get the option to show the code. Let's go back. So basic, basic settings, settings is the top one, look. So we just go like that. So now, look, it shows shows that as, as per list. Just show you the version what we're running, look. 1.6a. Go back. Basic There's the other one. Is it 33? Reverse channel. So I'm going to go on. So I'm going to go back. Hmm, it looks the same to me. Maybe it's when it's scanning. But the arrow down is going down and the arrow up. Anyway, that's an extra menu setting that wasn't there before. And then the other one was um, we back out. So let's go, if we go into menu Basic settings. and we can start pressing numbers. So let's just do it and see what happens. So we go menu one, Basic settings. which is one. <laughs> All right, let's do another. It's a bit better than that. Menu five. Zone settings. See, it's taking you to different menus. Let's do all of them. Menu two. Key definition. Three. Actually, we Key just go through seven. them. Four. So you've got Channel shortcuts. Zone settings. I think you are going to have to remember them. Time management. But that's the new that's the new thing that when you press a button it actually because before you press menu and none of this did anything. Now that it now it does. And then it says in menu if you get I know we haven't got APRS, it's saying that the APRS options are better. Channel set. So if you go to ex menu extended settings and go to APRS, you've got on off station mode, beacon, beacon mode, digi setup. APRS receive and transmit channels, TX levels. So yeah, they're definitely making sure that one day this radio is going to work very well. And I can turn on Bluetooth, GPS and APRS, but nothing happens because inside the module isn't there. It'd be real nice if they could just let us have, you know, buy that module. But I got a feeling because we, what did I pay for this? 67 quid, I think it was, delivered, which is a bargain if you ask me. 
Uh, by the time we faffed around soldering it and buying it, da -da -da, I would have preferred to just buy a radio. But saying that, the GPS model is going to cost more. So it's a bit of a funny one. Um, but anyway, you know, that's the way it goes. So thanks for watching. That's the firmware update. Bye for now.